What if everything you've been taught about the shape of our Earth is a lie? What if it isn't a spinning sphere in space, but rather a flat plane encased in a dome? Welcome to the enthralling world of Flat Earth Theory, a concept that has its roots in ancient civilizations and has found new life in our modern world. A surprisingly sizable group of individuals today ardently subscribes to this model, challenging the widely accepted spherical Earth. Is it possible that we've been deceived all along? The belief that the Earth is flat has been around since ancient times. Indeed, our journey into the origins of the flat Earth theory takes us back to some of the earliest civilizations. The Babylonians, for instance, were known to have a worldview that portrayed the Earth as a flat disk floating in the ocean. Similarly, the ancient Egyptians envisaged the Earth as a flat expanse, with the sky goddess Nut arched over it, her body studded with stars. This flat Earth concept was not confined to these civilizations alone. Across the globe, many indigenous cultures perceived the Earth as flat. The Norse envisioned it as a disk surrounded by an ocean, with a giant tree, Yggdrasil, at its center. In many African and Asian societies, the Earth was seen as a flat entity, often supported on the back of a giant animal. The belief in a flat Earth persisted until the time of the Greeks. It was the philosopher Pythagoras who first proposed that the Earth was a sphere. This idea was later supported by other Greek scholars like Parmenides and Plato. The spherical Earth theory gained momentum, eventually becoming the accepted view in the scientific community. Fast forward to the 21st century and you might be surprised to find that the flat Earth theory is far from extinct. In fact, it has seen a resurgence in recent years, driven largely by social media and online platforms. Websites, forums and social media groups are rife with discussions, debates and arguments supporting the Flat Earth theory. Influential figures within the Flat Earth community share their beliefs, theories and evidence online, reaching millions across the globe. This ancient belief, far from being extinct, has found a new life in our digital age. The Flat Earth Theory, once the worldview of our ancestors, is now a topic of modern debate, challenging the boundaries of science and our understanding of the world. Despite centuries of scientific advancement, the question remains, is the Earth really a globe, or could it be a vast flat plane? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the modern Flat Earth movement in our next scene. In the 21st century, the Flat Earth Theory has found a new following. And it's not just a handful of eccentrics. There's a whole community, a thriving network of individuals challenging the mainstream scientific consensus. Prominent figures have emerged, lending their voices to the cause, and their arguments are not to be dismissed lightly. Take Mark Sargent, for instance, a vocal advocate for the Flat Earth Theory. Sargent, in his articulate and convincing manner, poses a rather intriguing argument. He says, Our world is a giant soundstage created by some entity more advanced than us. It's a bold claim, but one that resonates with many. Then there's Eric Dubay, an author and conspiracy theorist who wrote the book 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball. He argues that the idea of a spherical Earth is a deception, a grand illusion perpetrated by those in power. His belief is that we've been tricked into accepting a false reality. And let's not forget the Flat Earth Society, an organization that's been around since the mid 20th century. They have a mission, to unravel what they believe to be the truth about our world. A flat world, encapsulated by a dome, protected and isolated. These theories, these ideas, they're not just confined to books and whispered conversations. They're finding homes on the internet, on social media platforms. YouTube channels dedicated to the flat earth theory rack up millions of views, spreading their message far and wide. Facebook groups and online forums serve as gathering places for those questioning the shape of our world. It's a movement, a push against the established norms, a challenge to the authority of science. It's a testament to the power of belief and the human capacity for curiosity. The Flat Earth Theory is not just a relic of the past, but a living, breathing entity in the present. The Flat Earth Theory, dismissed by many as archaic, is alive and well in the modern world. Flat Earthers present a variety of arguments to support their belief. Firstly, they point to the perception of a flat horizon. No matter how high we go, the horizon always rises to meet us. In a spherical world, wouldn't the horizon sink as we ascend, revealing the curve of the Earth? Yet from the top of Mount Everest to the edge of space in a weather balloon, the horizon remains stubbornly level. Next, they focus on the behavior of water. It's a fundamental fact that water seeks its level. 
oceans, lakes, swimming pools all are flat. If the Earth were indeed a spinning globe, wouldn't the centrifugal force cause the water to bulge at the equator? Yet, the surface of our oceans is consistently flat, with no discernible bulge. The most intriguing part of the flat Earth theory, however, is the concept of the dome or firmament. Flat Earth has proposed that we live under a giant dome, protecting us from the vacuum of space. This dome, they suggest, is what we see when we look up at the sky. The stars, the sun, the moon, all are contained within this celestial ceiling. When it comes to space travel and satellite images, flat earthers are skeptical. They dismiss these as elaborate hoaxes, designed to perpetuate the myth of a spherical Earth. The moon landing, the International Space Station, satellite photos, all are seen as part of a grand deception. Flat earthers argue that their theories aren't just fanciful ideas. They claim to be rooted in empirical, observable and repeatable phenomena. They point to the horizon, to the behavior of water, to the sky above us as their evidence. They claim that their evidence is empirical, observable and repeatable, the hallmarks of real science. If the Earth were flat, it would overturn centuries of scientific understanding. Picture this, a complete rewrite of the laws of physics, a new take on geography, a shock to our comprehension of astronomy. If the Earth were flat, our understanding of gravity would be turned on its head. We'd have to question the pull of the Earth, the orbit of the Moon, the rising and setting of the Sun. The very fabric of the universe as we know it would be in question. Imagine our geographical knowledge so meticulously mapped out over the years being thrown out the window. The paths of our oceans, the lay of our lands, the roots of our journeys, all would need a fresh perspective. And what of our trust in institutions? If the Earth were indeed flat, it would mean that governments and scientific bodies around the globe have been pulling the wool over our eyes for centuries. The very foundations of our belief systems would tremble. In the grand scheme of things, the Flat Earth theory doesn't just challenge our understanding of the planet's shape. It challenges our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It questions the very nature of truth and trust. A Flat Earth isn't just about geometry, it's a radical shift in our worldview. The implications are as vast as the universe itself, and just as profound.